So here we are, we're out testing the 7000 series, we're in the final stages of the development work, so let's see how it goes. The first thing that strikes you on the, the 7000 series is the suspension, it's very very comfortable and this is driven from the move from coil spring and damper on the front axle to a self-leveling system just like we've had on traditional fast tracks for years, so we've now got self-leveling all the way around. Handling a big plough such as this is now a lot easier because we can not only increase the pressure in the rear axle but we can reduce the pressure in the front axle as well when the plough is up in the air and when it's back in the ground we can keep the tractor working and the weight distribution is absolutely perfect. The steering system on the tractor allows us for a great turning circle but also the feedback on the road which is so important for driving that high speed. Visibility to the front of the machine is now hugely increased by this massive windscreen that goes right up at the skyline, right down to the floor of the cab. One piece of glass to go that full distance. The width of the cab is just like other fast tracks in the fact it's very wide and fills the full width of the machine, but also the length has been increased. The cab is 150 millimeters longer than our old traditional fast track cabs. Our sight line from either side of this new slender console is much, much more open. It allows us now to look and judge exactly where the front tyre is running and also the transmission is simplicity itself. We have six power shifts coupled with four ranges. We can go through each of the six power shifts literally by moving the gear lever to the right and it will go up the gears and also by moving the gear lever to the left and it will go down. We can then move the lever to the right and press the button, at which point the tractor will go through into the next range, completely without the clutch. So here on the screen, on our touchscreen display, across the top here, it's showing us a graduated scale of the six power shift gears. So we have two out of the six available at the moment, and we're in B range. Moving from forward to reverse with the tractor is even easier. We can literally either select the left hand reverser mounted here on the steering column, very easy, and the tractor, again with no clutch, will move from forward to reverse, or the operator can move the lever to the rear and press the button, at which point the tractor will go the other way. Steering column on the tractor is very easy to move. One lever on the right hand side of the steering column allows us to adjust the steering wheel for both rake and reach and bringing it a lot lot closer to the operator so driving and accelerating we can feel that torquey Cummins engine coming in there with 949 newton meters of torque on the 7230 model it's giving us great power for backup when we're plowing but also for general drivability on the road so here we are coming up to a headland turn very easy with the tractor now I'm going to come down a few gears I've also got my controls for the spool valve and the rear linkage mounted onto the joystick. So one press of the button has raised the plough. Another press on the joystick will now start turning the plough over. Of course, that can be programmed in to the headland management system so that one, one press of the white button will do a multitude of functions in one go. JCB have been designing innovative machines for over 60 years. We've also been making high-speed fast-track tractors for over 20 years. This particular machine has been under development for over four years. Ladies and gentlemen, the new 7000 series fast-track. Serious power in agriculture.